In this video I'll explain how to find common rows between two data frames using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this tutorial I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frames that we can create with lines 2 to 8 of the code. So if you run lines 2 to 4 of the code, you can see that a first data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data1. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains five rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2 and x3. If you run the lines 6 to 8 of the code, you can see that another data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data2. And if you click on this data frame, you can see the structure of our second data frame. And as you can see, this data frame also contains the columns x1, x2 and x3. However, this time the rows are different compared to the first data frame. Now let's assume that we want to find common rows between these two data frames. Then we can apply the intersect function, as you can see in line 10 of the code. And in front of the intersect function, we should specify the name of the package that we want to use, in this case generics, because the intersect function is contained in multiple packages and in each package it's applied slightly different. So in this case we are using the generics package and the intersect function of this package to find common rows. And then within the intersect function we need to specify the names of our two data frames that we want to compare. So in this case our data frames are called data1 and data2. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data set which is called data common1. So if you run line 10 of the code you can see that a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data common one. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that we have created a data frame with two rows. And these two rows are in common for the data frames data one and data two. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the intersect function of the generics package to find common rows between two data frames. However, I want to show you a second example which is based on the dplyr package. And this second example starts in line 12 of the code. So in lines 12 and 13, I'm first installing and loading the dplyr package. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 13 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package, such as inner join, as you can see in line 15. And within the inner join function, we simply need to specify the names of our two data frames. And then we can store the output of this in another data frame object, which is called data common two. So if you run line 15 of the code, a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data common two. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that we have created another data set, which contains the common rows of our input data frames. So as you can see, the dplyr package has returned exactly the same output as the intersect function of the generics package. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.